The Northern Youth Group, in conjunction with the Coalition for National Agenda, is advocating a compulsory drug test for presidential and gubernatorial candidates towards the 2023 general elections. The group says doing this will help sanitize the polity and ensure the margins of credible and reliable leaders for the country. Plus TV, Emmanuel A. Jenner completes the report. Leaders of the group made this call in Abuja during a press conference to state their position on the state of affairs in the country. The group says youth and women, particularly in the northern parts of the country, have become drug addicts, bandits, kidnappers and terrorists due to the helplessness and hopelessness caused by poverty and inequality. The need to sanitize the polity, ensure that only fit and proper persons occupy political offices, and enthrone equity and justice makes it imperative to raise the bar even higher by demanding that all presidential and gubernatorial candidates take drug tests as well as undergo medical and mental assessment tests to ascertain the, their readiness for the noble and stressful task of good governance. It called for a national agenda to right the wrongs of the past and the present, which can be done only by a drug-free, credible and nationalistic leadership. Nigerians deserve to have a peaceful nation, a peaceful society. National agenda here will be how do we ensure that the abysmal state of our nation is not in any way sustained, especially as we are going for the election. The group also reacted to insinuations that the 2023 elections may not halt due to insecurity with reference to the recent killing of Labour Party women leader in Kaduna State. Yes, so we need to ensure that our women are protected in politics. We cannot run in politics where women are becoming afraid to be leaders. This is not a good trend for us. This is not encouraging women to be involved in politics. I am calling on every woman, every youth, to please come out. If you see anything wrong, please say it. Don't be quiet and don't be afraid. What we are asking the security forces to do is to stand by us, and then we will do the right thing. The group commended the issues-based campaign deployed by all the political parties this term, while calling on the media to not only hold government accountable, but also set the agenda for government. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.